Okay, guys, we are on our last poem for our summative for poetry. And the poem that you're going to be writing today is called A Ballad. So I am in the Poetry Digital Resource Slideshow, and I am on slide 32. And on slide 32, we have our ballad and with definition and notes. So a ballad is a poem meant to be sung and it tells a story. It's often a sad, a sad one. It has refrains and it uses simple rhyme schemes. Okay, so simple rhyme schemes would be rhyme schemes such as A-A-B-B or A-B-A-B. Okay, try not to get too fancy with um, the rhyme scheme with a ballad, okay? Keeping it simple would be the best. So for this poem, we're, for annotation, we're going to be looking at the rhyme scheme. But this here is an example of a ballad. And this is, a ballad is a song. And so this song or this ballad is called Don't Cry, Johnny. And you can see that it's written by Conway Twitty. Now, just taking a look at this ballad, just at a glance, I'm gonna count and see how many stanzas, just to give me some idea. So I see one stanza here, another one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stanzas. So there's ten stanzas in this ballad, in this song, pretty lengthy. But you know, when you listen to um, songs, um, music on your devices, um, they're probably way more than 10 stanzas. Okay, just to give you some frame of reference. So, let me read to you this ballad and keep in mind that it, off it, it usually tells a story and often a sad one. Okay, and I'm not going to sing it to you, but it, it's it's usually sung too. So don't cry, Johnny. J Jimmy, please say you'll wait for me. I'll grow up someday, you'll see. Saving all my kisses just for you. Signed with love, forever true. Johnny was the girl who lived next door. I've known her, I guess, 10 years or more. Johnny wrote me a letter one day, and this is what she had to say. Jimmy, Please say you'll wait for me. I'll grow up someday, you'll see. Saving all my kisses just for you. Signed with love, forever true. Slowly, I read her note once more. Then I went over to the house next door. Her teardrops fell like rain that day when I told Johnny what I had to say. Johnny, Johnny, please don't cry. You'll forget me by and by. You're just 15, I'm 22. And Johnny, I just can't wait for you. Soon I left our little town, our little hometown, got me a job and tried to settle down. But these words kept haunting my memory, the words that Johnny said to me. Jimmy, please say you'll wait for me. I'll grow up someday, you'll see. Saving all my kisses just for you, signed with love, forever true. I packed my clothes and I caught a plane. I had to see Johnny. I had to explain how my heart was filled with her memory and ask if and and ask my Johnny if she'd marry me. I ran all the way to the house next door, but things weren't like they were before. My teardrops fell like rain that day when I heard what Johnny had to say. Jimmy, Jimmy, please don't cry. You'll forget me by and by. It's been five years since you've been gone. Jimmy, I married your best friend, John. Isn't that a, isn't that a cool ballad? And, and you, there was a story to it, right? About this girl, Johnny, who really liked Jimmy, but she was young. She was 15, he was 22. And she really wanted him to uh, wait for her because she, until she grew up. Um, and Jimmy said, no. Jimmy said, I'm going. Bye. 
and he came back when he realized oh I do like Johnny and he came back and what happened what did he find out he found out that she had moved on and married his best friend John so this is an example of a ballad and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the rhyme scheme and it's a pretty simple rhyme scheme remember um, we're not gonna do a fancy fancy rhyme scheme so it says Jimmy please say you'll wait for me let's see if I can type in there that's a oh super tiny yeah? I'll grow up someday you'll see and that's an a because me and C rhyme saving all my kisses for you okay you does not rhyme with me C or me so that's a B rhyme scheme signed with love forever true okay so true and you rhyme so I'm gonna call it a B okay me C they rhyme so it's given the value it's given I'm gonna name it a and you and true rhyme so we're gonna label it with a B Johnny was the girl who lived next door okay door does not rhyme with me or you so I'm gonna label it with a C I've known her I guess 10 years or more okay so more rhymes with door okay I'm gonna label it C because it does not rhyme with me or you okay the next line says Johnny wrote a wrote me a note one day okay it doesn't rhyme with I'm gonna give it a D because it does not rhyme with day does not rhyme with me you or door so it's, I'm going to the next alphabet D Johnny wrote me a note one day and this is what she had to say so say and day rhyme so I'm gonna label it with a D okay now you notice the rhyme scheme here is a simple one and that's what it says it says uses simple rhyme schemes so it's a simple rhyme scheme right A A B B C C D D and I'm sure if I continue on with the rest of the song that the rhyme scheme will be the same okay now what we also need to look for is the refrain now it says that ballads ballads have refrains so a refrain is remember is a repetition a repetition of lines throughout the song and looking at our ballad here I can see one two three I see three stanzas that are repeated all throughout the song okay so those repetitions those repeating um, lines are the refrain and sometimes people like to call them the chorus of the song and so the refrain is this first stanza here Jimmy please say you'll wait for me I'll grow up someday you'll see saving all my kisses just for you signed with love forever true and you see that there's a refrain here on in the third stanza because it's the same it's the same lines Jimmy please say I'll wait please say you'll wait for me I'll grow up someday you'll see saving all my kisses just for you signed with love forever true okay and then I see it again here on this in the second column here's the refrain again okay so this is an example of a ballad and let's just double check our notes a poem meant to be sung it tells a story a sad one yes it has refrains yes and it uses simple rhyme schemes okay so I'm going to take you now to your summative your poetry summative and this is on slide seven 
So let's make it a little larger. Okay, so slide seven. This is where you are going to write your ballad. So let's look at the definition and notes. Remember, a poem meant to be sung tells a sad story, tells a story, often a sad one, has refrains, and uses simple rhyme schemes. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to consider when you write your ballad. So here are your directions. It says, type a ballad below. Be sure to include a title on be sure to include a title above the poem where it says title of your ballad. And I always like to write um, my titles last. I, I, don't, I, I don't recommend coming up with a title first. Okay, I, I know it's at the very top of your paper, but mm, think, think of do your ballad first and consider your title last. Next it says your ballad should have at least three stanzas plus a refrain. Okay, so you remember the, I'm going to take you back. And don't cry Johnny, I think we counted there were ten stanzas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, there were ten stanzas and there were three refrains. Okay. So, but three of these stanzas were refrains. What you're going to do is you're going to have to have in your ballad three stanzas plus a refrain. Okay, so it says you must include the rhyme scheme in the column next to each line and bold your refrain. So, what you would do is use these lines to write three stanzas for your ballad and don't forget to label the rhyme scheme on the right okay and then for your refrain write your refrain I would you can write your refrain last after all of your stanzas and please bold your refrain so to bold your refrain you're just going to highlight the words and click on the bold. So I, I can't do that right now because I'm not in a, having a text box. But if you had a text box, the bold is right there. Okay, so you'd have to highlight what you want. You have to highlight your refrain to bold your refrain. Okay? So if you have any questions, you may ask your teacher. And have fun writing your ballad. Thank you.